Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I will show you a supreme build that will turn the Obsidian Lamina in one of your favorite Shadow of the Air Tree weapons. The Obsidian Lamina is a unique sight with an outstanding design, featuring incredibly stylish combat and extremely high performance. This weapon deals only physical damage and scales B with Dexterity and D with Arcane. It has a passive bleed build up that, while it is not impressive, it is really helpful and increases its potential significantly. The best part of this weapon is its unique skill, Dynastic Sickle Play. An extraordinary evasive maneuver that can be followed up twice to perform powerful yet mesmerizing slashes while retreating to a safe position. This ability deals an insane amount of stance damage even if it's not used completely. With only one follow-up, it proves to be exceptionally effective at breaking the stance of your targets. Using the entire skill is a little bit complicated because most enemies will hit you at the end of the final evasive animation. However, with enough game awareness, it is possible to use this last part effectively and obtain some style points. The Obsidian Lamina is a great weapon despite of not being a one-shot machine as other DLC weapons. Weapons. Its high versatility makes it a solid option for every type of player that is looking for a strong scythe. Under the right setup, it can deal a ridiculous amount of damage, allowing you to take it through the toughest scenarios easily. First of all, I'm going to show you the build, and then we will be the very major boss of the game and the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMO EXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMO EXP for a sponsoring today's video. We are going to be using the Obsidian Lamina on plus 10 and any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. It doesn't need to be upgraded and we need any weapon with the Raptor of the Mistache of War to be able to dodge the Mikela's AoE attack. I am going to be rocking the entire Ansbach set to boost the power of the Dynastic Sickle play by a total of 14%. But as you know, the Ansbach set is not the best in terms of damage negation, so feel free to use any other armor set you want. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Shard of Alexander, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman and the Blade of Mercy. If you are missing one of these talismans, you can use the Roaring Windsor Insignia, the Axe Talisman, or the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman to increase your defense dramatically, allowing you to use the Ansbach set without being extremely vulnerable. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear. However, the last one is very, very optional. You can use any other tier you find useful, because this weapon is very versatile. So, as I am an aggressive player, I find the Thorny Crack Tear useful, but I also noticed that this weapon works extremely fine with heavy attacks. So, a great alternative alternative that I want to give you is to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear with the Spike Crack Tear, stacking it with the Axe Talisman and with the Two-Handed Sword Talisman. This way your heavy attacks are going to be extremely powerful. And regardless of your talisman choice and playstyle, the Stone Barb Crack Tear is going to be one of the best tiers you can pair with the Blood Sucking Crack Tear to maximize the potential of the Obsidian Lamina. With this weapon we are going to be dealing only physical damage so the best body valve is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic. However, if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. Both body valves are incredibly useful so the decision is up to you. And this weapon consumes a decent amount of stamina, so be sure to craft some Pickle Torten legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 80 on Dexterity, 25 on Fate, and 40 on Arcane. This way, we are going to be dealing a solid amount of damage while building enough bleed to be as much effective as it's possible when using the Obsidian Lamina. Golden Bow and Flame Grant Me Strength are going to be our main buffs, and we are going to use the Swarm of Flies. This amazing incantation is going to help us to build up bleed faster and it is going to be really helpful because the Obsidian Lamina is fast but not fast enough to build up bleed quickly in the most difficult enemies of the DLC such as Radan. You can cast it with the same seal you are going to use to cast your buffs so it is perfect to include it in this build. And as you can see I have my Scattered Tree Blessing on the level 20 and if you want to obtain the max performance of any weapon in the DLC I highly recommend you to upgrade your blessing all the way up to level 20. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to buff your character with this build. Remember that you have to do this process before each fight if you want to deal the same amount of damage I'm dealing. First, we are going to use Golden Vow and a Pickle Torten Leg which is completely optional but in this case I strongly recommend you to use it because this weapon skill devours stamina. Now we are going to use our body buff. In this case, I'm going to use Blood Boy Aromatic but you can use Flame Grand Me Strength perfectly fine. And as we are using the Stone Barb Crack Tear, we are going to use it at the very last moment. And with that, you are ready to go! Okay. That is good. 
Amazing. Get him. Get him, bro. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Amazing, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Nice, that, that looked cool, bro. Oh, what? This is my chance to win, bro. Oh, let's go. Amazing, baby. <laughs> let's go. Oh, that was very close, bro. Come on. Oh, amazing, bro. Quickly. Amazing, baby. Let's go. Amazing. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. Amazing. I'm still is he still alive? Take that bro. What? No way, I can't believe it, bro. Here we go, here we go. I'm going wild. Oh my god. We wait a little bit. Nice. Oh, this is amazing. Come on. Quickly? Nice. Amazing. Let's go, bro! <laughs> no way! Amazing, bro. Let's go, baby. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it wasn't that complicated, bro. Let's go. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, this is interesting. What are we playing, bro? It's amazing bro, I love it. Oh beautiful. Incredibly strong bro. Oh jeez. Come on. Destroyer. Oh beautiful. Come on. I got you. I got you. Oh. Oh no way. <laughs> These two guys will do the thing. Let's go. Amazing. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Nice, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Amazing. I'll go for the backstab. Amazing. Amazing. Let's go. Amazing. Beautiful. Let's go, baby. It was a lot easier than I thought. What up, homie? Take this. Amazing. Goodbye, Elden Beast. Nice, guys. Finally, bro. 